With 650,000 people each year getting released from prison and jail across the country, you have people coming out of prison and jail who want an opportunity, who want a second chance, and we're not providing them with the ability to do that. There are 44,000 documented legal barriers to reentry in areas like housing, employment, family reunification. We have set up huge numbers of barriers to success, and that just doesn't make sense. I was released after 28 years in prison, and I knew there were going to be challenges, but I was just ready to face anything, you know. It was a strange experience, just being around people. I was trying to remain calm and cool and in place, just like everyone around me, but inside I was just a, a mess of anxiety. Me and my wife were driving down the road in the Folsom. We saw a sign that says Folsom Prison. So I wanted to visit the prison museum. He had been there uh, before, and we just went up and we said, hey, could we take our picture here? And the officer said, sure. And then uh, we went on about our business. I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think I was breaking any rules. The museum is behind the wall of the prison, so we thought it was safe. And apparently it was not, you know. It was on prison grounds, and by being there, I was committing a crime. Well, he talked to his parole officer and told him that he had gone there and he got very silent and he said, well, why did you go there? You're not allowed to be there. And when he did that, I knew he, uh, he was gonna arrest me. Here I am after 28 years coming back into the world, and there's no answers as far as things I'm allowed to do and not allowed to do. Me and Brenda, my wife, we made a life for ourselves. Positive things were happening and that was being snatched away, you know. I got out, we succeeded, and here I'm going back. I just felt like um, so empty. I felt like a failure. Root and Rebound works with individuals, families, and communities that are impacted by incarceration to better support people who are coming home from prison and jail. Most people go back for parole violations, not for new crimes. Parole violations can be for things that are incredibly minor. So we as lawyers create and disseminate educational tools, including our Roadmap to Reentry Guide. We provide trainings for individuals and their families who really don't understand a lot of the laws that they're coming up against. Lastly, we provide a reentry legal hotline, which allows people to call us and get case-by-case -case legal advice for the issues that they're encountering. We heard about Joel's case from a community member who had worked closely with him on his domestic violence advocacy work. So we called the public defender up in Sacramento and we provided them with all the information we had about the kind of person he is, the kind of life he was living. The charges against him were ultimately dropped. When I stepped into the courtroom, the public defender, he just stepped up with a piece of paper that says, sign here, you're being released. And uh, I walked away and I felt like I was floating on air. We do get, every year, a few stories like that. And if we aren't brought into it and we're not involved, it's very likely that those people do end up back incarcerated. A huge part of our model is partnership and collaboration. One of the many partners we work with is Jason Bell and his program, which supports formerly incarcerated students. Many folks have even given up on the legal system, but to think that there might be some help out there and it won't cost them $10 million to get it is, is a pretty amazing resource. That's what they have been for many of the students that I work with and many of the people that I've seen come through this office. And what is it Root and Rebound is reaching over 13,000 people a year and we feel that that number is only gonna increase. I have a very unique perspective being that I was in prison myself there were a lot of things that could have been so helpful to me had I known about Root and Rebound before or even if I had had the guide while I was in prison. You have to have somebody that can say, this is what you may face, these are the challenges or the barriers that you may encounter, and if you do, here's what you can do, right? This is where you can call, this is where you can go. This is what we're here for, and this is where we're gonna, I think, continue just trying to reach out to more people. Root and Rebound has empowered my reentry experience by um, knowing, number one, that I'm not alone, that uh, there are people who care about me. You know, just that gives me a sense of hope. I am going to school full time, pursuing a degree in agriculture. I think people are given a second chance if they want it.
they can make a different life for themselves. You don't always have to be equal to the worst mistake you made. You can move on from that. There are redemption stories. They're in all of us. There's certainly one in me. Thank you.